Did you see your friend the raven today? Or you all just rather not eat with him? <laughs> and he's such a big bird, huh? Got a special treat today. Got berries, sunflower seeds, walnuts and almonds, blueberries. Is it good? I'm glad you like it. Got some chips in there. How is that? So glad to see you. Come on down from the tree. Come on down. I got all your feathers. Thank you for the beautiful feathers. Thank you. Thank you, lovey dovey. Hey. Hey there. Hey, mommy. What's going on, mommy? How are y'all doing today? <laughs> the squirrels want to be the stars of the show today, huh? You don't mind getting in front of the camera, huh? Yeah, we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six squirrels. You all have gotten so big and handsome. Big and handsome now. Yeah. Ah, hey there, Mr. Crow. Hey, Mr. Crow. Hey, Mr. J. Hey, J. What's up, J? All the little lovey dubbies are out. Hey, there. Okay, you can't take nobody's stash. You know that's against the rules. Can't take anybody's stash. You gotta get your own stash. Hey there. Hey. Come on in. Somebody really like nuts. It's the best I can get it through the screen. I can see everybody with your little, little backyard bird sanctuary. Somebody's having fun playing chase today. Oh, I see a lady crow in the background coming over here. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah. I'm glad you made it through tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven squirrels. Yeah, oh, look at that pretty little, that's a young dove there. 
can't zoom in too much. Oh, yeah. All my little friends today. All my little friends today. While I was late putting everything out today, my son came to see me yesterday. I had to make dinner for him. We got eight squirrels today. Yeah. Nine squirrels. One, two, see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight squirrels. Eight squirrels. Well. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine. Nine squirrels today. That's the most I've ever seen. So we got some neighboring squirrels, huh? Everybody got scared away from the fireworks. So everybody's coming over here. That's fine. <laughs> Y'all gotta share. It's okay to share. It's okay to share with your neighbor. And there's the woodpecker is here. If I can I can't get him though. He's the shy one. He's up in the tree. So I get the best resolution on cloudy days, huh? Huh. It's got even light. I can see through the screen. Look at that. I see you, woodpecker. Come on down. Come on. Come on, little woodpecker. See you know, the bird with the red dot on her head coming down on the tree. I very seldom ever get close-ups of her. But she comes every day. I see we got some squirrels coming from the oak on the next street over. There's got to be some females in there for you guys. But you've probably already made it for the year. Come on, little woodpecker. Come on down off that tree back there. I see you. Come on down. The squirrels won't bite you. Come on. Come on down, little woodpecker. Come on. Little redhead. I see you on the tree back there. I see you. Come on. Come on. I guess you better have ants today. I'm pecking the tree. Look, there she is. Look. I guess it's too crowded right now. She says it's too crowded. I'll come back later. Yeah, because we got a lot of little squirrels today. Mmm. We got a lot of new neighbors today. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they're saying... Hey, this is our yard. You can't be over here. But yeah, you got to share. I've never seen this many uh, squirrels before, but I'm glad to see them. Uh, from all the holiday festivities, I guess they got scared over here. Uh, the next street over had a lot of fireworks. And people were in the park. They had a lot of fireworks. Uh, from the uh, July 4th festivities. I don't really uh, celebrate July 4th, but um, uh, I know that we have a, one of those um, something written in the lease that we're not allowed to do it on this property. Uh, but other people, uh, I guess, private homeowners on the next street over, 
they probably uh, they're not bound to that so they are they're doing their little fireworks thing at night and they started Saturday and Sunday and today is Monday and so um, I see there's one crow back here with some damage looks like he got some burn fringes on him so I, he's he's a casualty today I've never seen a crow that badly damaged but that's what fireworks do they damage the local wildlife and uh, and he can fly he seems to be okay but he has some damage on him I saw that damage uh, looks like he's got some burn burn some of his uh, feathers off he might have been near a tree that had it where there was a lot of heavy fireworks and sparks and stuff so he might have gotten hit by a spark the animals do sleep in the trees so even with the fireworks going high in the air the sparks still come down they can still be injured by the sparks and it's supposed to be illegal for fireworks in the um, in the city limits, but you know, people don't listen. They they don't listen. Hi there. Hello, little neighbor. It's okay, you can get a little bite to eat. As long as there's enough for everybody. There's plenty today, I put extra out. Yes, I did. Two cups extra of seeds. And I put some chips in there. And it's got some little pieces of bread. So I don't usually give them yeast, but uh, I had some extra uh, dough bread around. I had some extra uh, rolls. And so I decided to share some with them today. But people don't realize how the uh, fireworks damage the local wildlife. This is urban wildlife. This this is the little ones who live in our yards and in our trees. So we have to be mindful of nature is all around us everywhere. We're never gonna get away from nature because we were created in a garden. And all of the other creatures were in the garden before we were, according to Genesis and the Bible. You know, there are other books too. There are lost books of the Bible. There, there were civilizations um, over 40,000 years ago that were here before us. And every time we have a an apocalypse or a cataclysm, civilization starts over. So the civilization that we started with is from within the last 7,000 years. We're um, after the flood. So, you know, pre-flood and after the great flood of Noah. So that's where we are. And uh, we have another cataclysm coming up because we have disregarded nature. We have hurt the wildlife. We have hurt the insects. And now there's pestilence everywhere. I heard about the flat hammerhead. Uh, the hammerhead flatworm is taking over. There are other invasive slugs taking over because we have disregarded nature. We're not taking care of our backyard. You know, everybody has a Garden of Eden right in their own backyard. And you have to think of it that way. Your Garden of Eden is your backyard and your front yard. And it does matter what you do to these creatures and how you treat them. And Mother Nature is watching over us. You know, we, we, we say Mother Nature, but we're really talking about the Ekakadorshe, the spirits of nature. Uh, they were created uh, long before we were 
and they are the watchers of, of these little ones. They are the watchers of the um, the trees, the grass and the ground cover. Hey there, come on now, gotta get along. It's lunchtime, you know, call the truth so you can eat. Call the truth so you can eat. <laughs> come on, it's okay. It's okay, call the truth so you can eat. Everybody can eat right now. <laughs> so we got about, I think there's about 11 squirrels back there. They have come over. Uh, there's usually about six squirrels in my yard. Four live back here in the two trees back here. And uh, squirrels are, they're family oriented, they're community oriented. But when they get to be, when they stop nursing, their parents put them out, their mom puts them out, and she leads them to a tree. She helps them to find their own tree. So you rarely see more than a few squirrels per tree, unless it's a very large tree like an oak, then I call that a squirrel apartment complex. You, you may see maybe several squirrels in a large, large tree. But uh, it's usually a small tree like I have in the backyard. There's only maybe two squirrels that live in this tree. An average of one to two. And they all have little dummy dummies. Why are you in the tree? Hmm? Why are you up in the tree? The squirrels did you out? Yeah. Okay, so I move uh, and uh, I lo I'm losing resolution because I'm behind the screen. They won't let me come out and just stand there with them. They're like, no, you're a human. So I have to come in. But anyway, we have to take care of nature. This is our Garden of Eden is in our backyard. And you have to think of it that way. You know, you have to take care of it and the little ones in your yard. So we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six. The regular squirrels. Oh, now nah, y'all ran everybody off. Now, nah, come on now. <laughs> you got to share something. They ran everybody off, including the doves. The doves are sitting in the tree. But I'm going to close the door because it's making them nervous. You know, people don't know how to treat the wildlife, and so the wildlife puts up a guard. They, um, they know not to get too close to us. So I have to respect that. So I have to leave them. See you guys later. See you guys later. Bye. Shalom, shalom.